Okay, I'm just going to quickly walk through how to install Anemone. This plugin, like so many plugins in Grasshopper, can be found at Food for Rhino. So just if you want to type Food for Rhino into Google, it would probably be a good bookmark to make Food for Rhino because this is where so many plugins for Rhino and Grasshopper live. And once you're here, we can just type Anemone into the search. And it's this one here. And if you're not logged in, these little green boxes will say log in rather than download, but I am logged in. So go ahead and log in if you're not logged in. Otherwise, you can go down to the most recent version of Anemone, and it looks pretty old actually, 2015 I guess is the most recent, but it's still a very helpful plugin. So let's go to Anemone.4 and click download. It says Rhino 4 and 5, but it definitely still works for more recent versions and it's downloaded so I'm going to open the folder that it downloaded into. I'm going to right click and cut it from this folder and paste it into the libraries folder and to find the libraries folder for Rhino I'm just going to launch Rhino quickly and open Grasshopper. So this is how a quick way to find the folder where most of the plugins live for Grasshopper. Just open Grasshopper, go to File, Special Folders, and Component Folders, and I can paste the Anemone Grasshopper file in here, and that's pretty much it, except for this one extra step. For almost all plugins that you'll use in Grasshopper, or at least a good portion of them, you need to do one extra check, and that is to right click and go to properties. So I'll do that again. Right click and click on properties. And we see these these properties. It's this bottom one under gen under under the general tab that's that you need to check every time. This unblock box needs to be checked. Because this file came from another computer, this is just a security check, and you need to let your computer know that you want to let Rhino and Grasshopper access it. And so once you've checked that, you can click OK. And it won't be available to use yet until you restart Rhino. And so if we launch Rhino again and look at Grasshopper, now we have an anemone. Now we have an anemone. Now we have an now we have an anemone pad. <laughs> now we have an anemone tab at the top here, and it's ready to use.